All right, Birds of Prey has a new trailer. The first one existed, I guess. Didn't exactly get me hyped for this thing, but they got a new director to helm reshoots, and rumor has it he may have worked some black magic on this thing and saved the movie, so maybe this one will look better. Let's find out. Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. Ah, oh, shit. I told this all wrong. Quick history lesson. This all started mm. when Joker and I broke up. It was completely... Lots of breaking the fourth wall already. And so because enough, kids love those Deadpool movies. Ready to embrace the fierce goddess within. <laughs> it's oh so quiet. Now that I've cut ties with Mr. J, I'm about to learn that a lot of Could you actually show us that? And at the you know, time, show don't tell. Is this guy? And so peaceful. Well, you know, I, Oh, now we're just moving on. Okay. That wasn't the only day in Gotham looking for emancipation. And I'm sure this music is copyrighted, so we're gonna have to talk over this. You betrayed him. You killed his BFF. Okay, we got some. What? All right, so Huntress killed uh, someone. Black Mask was close with, I guess. Very unpleasant death. We're gonna have to work together. We got some. Sure. Brief explanations for what their roles are in this movie. Okay. Still, no one's in their costumes. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? You blow up, you I don't know. Yeah, Margot Robbie's accent's still, like, coming in and out. And she had problems with that in Suicide Squad. Turn it up. You know, hopefully she's working on it. If she's gonna stick with this role for a while. And okay, we got more action this time. Still not really sure about the way it's filmed. Oh, Cassandra Kane's talking now, huh? Um. Okay. I just don't like this business of Harley and the Joker breaking up. If you wanted Harley on her own, fine. If you wanted to break them up somewhere down the road. Also fine, but you never even showed them as a couple in the first place. The whole crux of Harley's story in Suicide Squad was she was trying to reunite with Mr. J. Joker was trying to get Harley back. Then he gets her back, he frees her from prison, and now we don't get the payoff of seeing them actually together. The next movie starts, and suddenly they're just broken up. So what the hell was all the build-up for? What were they like as a couple? Why did they break up? Leto's not in the movie, so does it even matter now? Does the DCEU understand storytelling at all? I don't think they do. It's nice that the trailer shows us a little more of the Birds of Prey for whom the movie is so named. I like that they get introductions this time, and we get a little hint of what they're doing in the movie, and we finally have official confirmation that this chick is in fact Black Canary, which is helpful because I was never 100% sure. And how about that? They even get some lines. Even Cassandra Kane, the one character in the movie who should not have lines, gets lines. <sighs> Look, I don't know a lot about Cassandra Kane, but I know she should probably not be talking that much. At all. I mean, this clearly is going to be a big departure for the character. The question is, will Cassandra bear any kind of resemblance to her comics counterpart in this movie, or did they just take some rando and name her Cassandra Kane to get fans of that character in the theater? Looks like the latter, if you ask me. And the Birds of Prey still look like glorified extras in their own movie, which seems to be a Margot Robbie vanity project in all but name. They're not recognizable at all. Nobody's in their costumes. Cassandra Kane is... not Cassandra Kane. We see a little more of them in this one, but the more we see of them, the more wrong everybody looks. So I have to ask, did they just want to piggyback on the Birds of Prey IP for this movie? Because it seems to me that you could have plugged just about any street-level DC characters into this spot. It's still Harley's movie at the end of the day. And then given the Birds of Prey their own movie, where they can be the main characters. And then you could put Oracle in there and all that stuff. 
The Birds of Prey shouldn't be relegated to Harley Quinn's sidekicks, but it seems like she was all the studio was concerned with. And that's a shame, because they deserve better than to be standing in the background while Harley does her all-eyes-on-me shtick. And this trailer is trying to get over a completely different tone than the last one. Now it looks like more of a comedy. I don't even know what kind of movie we're in for anymore. It seems really confused about what it wants to be. So in the event that the movie doesn't work, and from what I've seen there's a good chance of that, you haven't just damaged the Harley Quinn brand, you've damaged the Birds of Prey too. Good luck to them getting their own movie after that. It would be nice if this movie is good. Because I do like Margot Robbie. I like her as Harley. I like Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I think her as Huntress could potentially be cool, but this thing still looks like kind of a mess. But who knows? Maybe in the next trailer it'll look completely different again. And if they keep rejiggering it, maybe they'll eventually land on a version that looks better than this one does. Guys, tell me what you thought of this trailer in the comments below. Ding that bell icon and follow me on Twitter using the link in the description so you'll always be notified about new videos. Don't forget to F the algorithm by liking, sharing, subscribing, making sure you're still subscribed, and I'll be back with more very soon. Until then, over. Out.